Hello guys, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to download and install Jenkins in Windows 10 operating system by the simplest way. First of all, we just go to the Anyway browser and here just type Jenkins and hit enter key on your keyboard. Okay. The first link is from the Jenkins.io. Open that link. This is the official website of the Jenkins. Open that website. Okay. Here we find download option. Just click on this download option. Here we find downloading Jenkins. Here is the Jenkins. Okay. Just go to the Windows. We are installing on the Windows. So just go to the Windows. And our download is started in few seconds. Our download is started. It takes few minutes or few seconds depending on the speed of your internet. If your internet speed is very high, then it is download in a few seconds. If your internet speed is low, then it takes one minute or two minutes. So be a patient and wait for a few seconds. Now our download is completed. Just go, go to the show all, show in a folder, minimize this and just go to the desktop. Drag this file to desktop. Close this. Here is the our setup file. Just double click on this setup file. Okay. Now our installation is started. Just click on the next. Here is the next button. Okay. Go with the default destination folder. If you want to change, then change it from here. I prefer to go with the default destination folder. Just click on the next. Here we find two options: run service as a local or domain user. I have not any account or password. So I just go to the first option, run service as local system. Okay. Just go to the next, select this and just go to the next. Here we find port. Just select the, taste the first port 8080. Okay. Here is the green, green icon. Then our port is working. 8080 is now working. Okay. Now just go to the next. Here is the next button. Just go to the next. Here is the our Java JDK. This is the problem. Okay. It is only support Java 1.8 and Java 11. It is support only these two. Okay. And we are installing on our PC Java JDK 18 and 110% this Jenkins is not work on this PC. I fix this issue in a few minutes. So we, uh, first of all, we install it, then fix this issue. Okay. Now just go to the next, just go to the next and install it. Now our installation process is started. Just click on the yes. Now installation process is started. It takes minutes. Okay. Now it is installed. Just click on the finish. Now our Java JDK is installed. Now just go to the anyway browser and here just type local local host two dots eight zero eight zero just type local host two dots eight zero eight zero and hit enter key on your keyboard and this is not working it is 110 percent not working so we are going to solve this first of all minimize this first of all just go to the start and just go to the control panel and just click on the control panel. Okay. Now in a control panel, just go to the categories, large icons and if you are just find programs and features, just find programs and features. Okay. And just select Jenkins. Okay. And just select Jenkins and just go to the uninstall and click on the yes. Click on the yes. Now Jenkins is uninstalled from our PC, completely uninstalled from our PC. Just close this. Now we are going to the our web browser once again. Okay. And this time we just type Oracle Java JDK. Just type Oracle Java JDK. And the first link is from the Oracle Java. Okay. Here is the Oracle first link. Just open this site. Okay. Here we find Java 80, Java JDK 80 and Java 70. And we want to Java 11. So scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down here. And here we find Java 8 and Java 11. Just click on the Java 11 at here. Just click on Java 11 at here. Okay. Here we find Java JDK 11 for Linux, Mac OS and Windows. Just go to the Windows. Okay. And here we find 64 bit installer. Okay. Just go to the 64 bit installer from here. Okay. Install our files. Just click on the download Java JDK from here. Okay. I just accept the terms and condition and then just click on the down download Java JDK. Okay. JDK 11. Now 
if you are not any account then create account and then type your username and password and log in with this pc on this website now just go to the sign in okay now our download is starting here is the, our downloading it's a large file so it's taken one minute or two minutes depending on the speed of your internet if your speed of your internet is very high then it's take few minutes if your internet is very slow then it's take one or two or ten minutes okay so be a patient and wait for some time okay now our download is completed just click on the show all just go to the show in a folder drag this to desktop okay now close this now just double click on java jdk jdk l1 okay here is the jdk double click on it click on the yes now just click on the in next go with the default destination folder don't change this folder okay just go to the next now our installation process is started now close this now our installation is done of the java jdk just go to the this pc now just go to the c drive in c drive we find program files just go to the program files in program files just go to the java here is the java here we find two version java 11 java 18 we just go to the java 11 okay here we find bin folder here is the bin folder double click on bin folder and just click at here here is the our path just click at here and just copy this path from c to bin just copy it okay now minimize this now just go to the start just type edit the system environment just go to the edit the system environment we are going to create our environment variables just go to the environment variables at here okay now we just go to the here at path just go to the here at the path and just go to the edit and if you find your old path of java jdk 18 okay here is the my old path of the java jdk 18 okay now just go to the edit and just remove this and just paste our old path a new path okay now click on anywhere just click on the blank space now our new path is set new path of the 11 jdk is set click on the okay now just go to the java home here is the java home just click at here java home just go to the edit okay now just delete this path or and just paste our new path okay remove bin folder from here okay remove bin folder and black slash and click on the okay now click on the okay now apply it okay now just go to the start just type cmd and just go to the command prompt and here just type here just type java space hyphen version just type java version hit enter and here is the our problem java version is 180 okay and this problem is occurred because we just close this and we just go to the start and once again we just go to the edit the system environment okay just go to the environment variables at here okay and just go to the path just find the our path at here and just go to edit and here at the top we find if you find this c program files common files oracle java java path then we has to remove this this java path has to remove okay just select this and select this and just go to the delete at here okay now okay okay now just go to the okay now just go to the start once again cmd and click on the command prompt now once again type java version hyphen version and hit enter key now this time we see java version l1 is now set on our pc okay now just close this now we just go to the now we just go to the jenkins again here is the jenkins setup file double click on this and our installation is start just go to the next just go to the our default destination path don't change it okay just go to the default destination path just go to the next here you find two options run serv service as a local or domain user i have not any account or password so i just go to the run service as a local system and just go to the next 
here i just taste the port okay and just go to the next next a 8080 is working okay so i just go to the next now here is the our problem java 18 okay and we want to change it so just go to the here change okay and we just go to the one step back at here up level okay and just go to the jdk 11 okay just go to the jdk 11 click on the okay now our jdk 11 is set on our pc okay now just go to the next now just go to the next install it click on the yes now just click on the finish now we just go to the our web browser once again and just go to the our url and just type localhost two dots eight zero eight zero and hit enter key on our keyboard now our jenkins is now starting whenever our jenkins is ready it is automatically redirect to another page okay now here we find unlock jenkins okay here is the our path c program data jenkins dot jenkins secrets and this is the our password file okay we has to go to this file okay so i just go to the desktop open this pc okay i just go to the web browser and open this pc and i just go to the c drive and here i not find program data it is not it is hide so i just go to the view here is the view just go to the view and here we find options okay just go to the here options and here we find view just go to the view at here and here we find show hidden files folders and drivers just select that apply click on the okay now we find our program data is now showing okay double click on it we just find jenkins here just find dot jenkins and here we find secrets double click on secrets here we find password file intel admin password okay just right click on it and open with open with notepad okay now here is the our password okay just copy this password your password is different just copy this password and add this password at here just paste it this password at here and just click on the continue never now here we find two option install suggested plugins select plugins to install just go to the install suggested plugins now it is automatically installed this all plugins so be a patient it's take few minutes depending on the speed of your internet and your pc speed so wait for a few minutes now just create a new username password confirm that password full name and email id i just add admin you can add any name you can add any password that you like just retype that password same password add your full name just add your email id just add your email id add your email id then just click on the save and continue just copy this url and just click on the save and finish start using jenkins just click at here now just go to the here log out from here okay now just add your password your user id admin and just type your password and just go to the sign in now we sign into jenkins so guys this is the simplest way to download and install jenkins in a windows 10 operating system by the simplest way so guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you guys